I'm Grandpa Jim. Who are you? I'm Megan. And you asked me a question. We're going to learn about electricity. And what was your question? Um, I wanted to learn, um, see electricity. You want to see it? Uh -huh. Can you see electricity? Well, you actually can when the lights come on. The light? That's like electricity. Mm -hmm. What else has electricity in it? Computers, iPads, phones, cameras. And, and my favorite thing? Yeah. What's my favorite thing? I bet you like cameras. Cameras, yeah. And what else? Um, hmm. What have I done since I was a little older than you? I've talked on the radio. Yeah. So when I'm talking on the radio, what am I sending to somebody on the other side of the planet? Talking about electricity. Right, too. and I'm sending electricity. Really small amounts, but that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, so electricity, can you see electricity? Yeah, sometimes in lights. Ah, yeah. And like light, a light bulb. Like a light bulb and lightning? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But if it's in a wire, can you see it? No. Okay. Now what about wood? Can you can you make it go through wood? No. Not because even. sometimes you can Light your house on fire. Ah, yeah. That wouldn't be good. Okay, so I, I set up a board mm -hmm. with a battery and a yeah. light. Okay. And what amounts to a switch. So I'll get that. Okay. And we'll look at some electricity. Okay. Okay, so I have some wires here, which you talked about. Yes. And what is this? A battery. And what is this? A light. Do you know what kind of lights those are? Do you know what no. they're called? They're called LEDs. They're in everything, like cell phones and all kinds of ah. things. And this is, is a light switch. It's a light switch, and it's a switch from where? Do you know where that comes from? From hmm. eBay. <laughs> it probably did, but what it is is when I was a kid, yeah. I would send Morse code to somebody else, and I'd do it with that kind of a key in my radio. So this is called a key, but it's really a switch. So, um, what happens when you press the switch? I think the lights turn on. And why, why would the lights turn on when you press the switch? Because the wires send a message. Okay, so... It tells it to turn on. It's like your nerves. It's like what? Your nerves. Your nerves send a message like saying, Megan, throw your hand. Oh. It says a message. And that's electricity too, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I take this yeah. battery and I connect it to the light, what happens to the light if I do it right? Hmm. I think you you could actually do it. Make it light up? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, well, let's do that. You know, uh, let's take uh, this wire. Okay. All right. And we're going to connect it directly to the light. And the light lights up. <laughs> okay, so now this is again like the, the switch in the wall in your bedroom or in the living room. Go ahead and press the switch. Now what happens? The light comes on. It turns on. on. Do you know why the light turns on? Because it's sending a message. It's sending a message and... What are those? What are the messages? What are they? It says, "Tell the light to turn on." Okay, so uh, something in the wire is moving, and it's called electrons. So they're moving out of the battery through the switch when you close the switch, and it lights up the LEDs. Now, what happens if we if we turn? Let me it, turn it, this. Not yet. What happens if we turn the battery around backwards? I think it won't turn on. Okay, let's well let's see. Well, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to connect the battery backwards. Okay. Why do you suppose it wouldn't turn on? Because I don't think so. You don't think so? Mm -mm. It might not turn on because it wants to have the electrons come in just one direction. Uh -huh. Okay, try the switch now and see if it lights up. What's happening? It didn't light it up. It didn't light up. So, this likes these lights 
want to have the electrons flowing just one direction. If you go the other way, it doesn't turn on. Hey, Grandpa Jim, what yep. if you um, did this? Would it still flow? If I did what? If you, f just like, if it's like this, then you can oh. turn it around like that? It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's how you connect the wires. So if we swap the wires around, it'll light up again. Because that's called electricity. It's called electricity, and there's a big word that has to do with um, what direction things go. And they call it polarity. Okay, let's see if I got the switch hooked up right. Go ahead and press the switch. All right, I don't yet. I have to make contact with these things. Megan, how old are you? Seven, almost. Almost seven? No. Uh -huh. when, is, when are you going to be seven? Um, on Friday. Friday, huh? Okay, let's try it again. Let's see if it lights up now. It still doesn't light up. Okay, why isn't it lighting up? Because you s just swapped it around. I think I got it the right way now. At least I hope so. Nope. No, maybe not. Maybe I did it backwards. That's a little funky. Okay, let's see. Okay, hang push the switch down. There we go. So, when I'm touching the plastic and not the metal, what happens? Um, it's... It, it, it doesn't flow through the plastic, mm -mm. but it flows through the metal. Yeah. Now, if I had wood here, would it flow through the wood? Mm -mm. Not very easily, no. So, plastic doesn't conduct electricity. It doesn't allow it to flow. Okay, try the switch again. Let's see if I got it right. I still don't have it right. Mm -hmm. Keep the switch down. Let's see if I can get it here. There we go. Uh, I found the spot. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> can batteries be dangerous? Yeah, they can, could. They can cause a fire, too. Yeah. Have you seen the pictures of the cell phones, on, like on the news, where they catch fire in people's pockets and things? Have you seen that? No. Okay. Yeah, some batteries have a lot of energy. Can I push this? No. So, what did we learn about electricity today? Um, we learned about how it flows. It flows. And, it does and batteries could be dangerous. Yeah. And electricity flows different directions. You can go one way or the other way. So it's just like eating. You like it this or like it this. <laughs> Cause this one doesn't like it this way. Right. So which way is electricity flowing? It's going this way. And if I hook the, the battery up backwards, it doesn't want to go this way because this isn't happy with the polarity being different. Mm -mm. Yeah. So batteries have a plus and a minus side, did you know that? And the plus means what? Add. You're right. And it also so means... So it, it adds a little bit more battery. But this <laughs> subtracts a little bit of the, battery. That has the minus on it, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we call the, the plus side positive. Uh-huh. And the minus side, do you know what we call that? No. Negative. So we learned a lot. We've got... Yeah. Uh, Electricity has polarity, and batteries have a positive and a negative, and mm -hmm. some things have to have a certain polarity to make them work right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we also know that plastic didn't work very well when I tried mm -hmm. to hook it up. It's not a good conductor. No. Neither is wood. And uh. you know what? There's little tiny like nerves in the battery, mm -hmm. so that way it sends a message. Right. And so those nerves are called electrons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's there. And it helps it flow. It, right. And where do you find electrons? Hmm. You can but find it in lights. Right. You can Everywhere. find it. Do you know you can find it in the air? Bones. You, know? you can find it in light switches. Yeah. You can find it in iPads, computers, TVs, laptops. Ooh, -wee, it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, Megan, thank you very much for Even coming by. Even parking meters. Wow. Okay, Megan, thank you for coming by.